you to run an additional wire to be able to actuate your trunk just by powering it up in event of a failure, electrical failure. This is the point we need to get to. This is the junction box, which is basically the fuse panel. This is the back of the fuse panel. This is the entire fuse panel with the glove box removed. This is your junction box electronics module. This has to be removed to access the plug behind here. You do have plugs in the front, but that's not the plugs that we need to access. This is the wiring diagram, which is actually a nice simple circuit. This is the connector that we need to get to. And it's going to be pin 12 at that large connector behind the junction box electronics. That's going to be a gray and green wire, pin 12, and it just goes to a chassis ground. And this is for the drive for the trunk lid. Now, you only need to, I would add a wire here that you can supply power to and it's already grounded so just a quick power supply it's already going to go through is going to actuate this trunk so to get to that point need to remove the trim on the sill this is held in by clips use a pry tool and pry in those locations there and this is what it looks like on the back side of that trim so you're going to remove those and then you're going to clip it back on also on the right side uh, kick panel this is also held on by two clips just like this and this and this pries off then you're going to need to remove the bottom panel it's held on by these screws and it doesn't say you need to take the glove box out so I think you can access the junction box which this is what it looks like underneath they do have the glove box removed in this picture and I will give you a link uh, for some instructions on how to remove the glove box as well in case you need to but you're going to remove these connectors here you push down on the tab and slide this connector over push down slide it over these are going to come out you need to take off these two small Torx screws here and then behind here is going to be another connector so this is not going to slide right out you have to get this other connector out and that's this one right here see this tab right here this tab unlocks by sliding directly to the right so you need to get up under there and actually force it all the way over to the right to release this large connector and then you'll be able to remove that junction box this is the housing it sits in you can see this is a, a spot that's not accessible it just pushes in right there and this is where you're going to find pin 12.